labs.net just wanted to go over with you a very very important set of documents done in excel uh, i put up an uh, an article here on my website would you use cftc historical futures data and open interest commitment of trading these are reports that you can download from the cftc.gov and download various reports on commitment of trade i'm going to show you those uh in a minute but i just wanted to tell you this all comes out of my phase two futures and options algorithmics or algorithms that i'm developing they're not really algorithms but they're little simple equations which i'll do another video on in my next video but i just want to show you one of the sources that you can get this data for free as you can see it, it's there's a commitment to an open government so that means it's open and it's free so here's the data that you could typically download. It's obviously in Excel, but the cool thing about it is there's, these are just two simple reports. So the COT data is commitment of trades. Now, what you'll notice here is that these are divided up into many, many different uh, commodities. And these are posted every Tuesday, every week, you'll get the same data. And what kind of data are we referring to? This is the really important stuff because you'll be able to use this as a measurement of demand on that commodity. And because of the demand on that commodity, that will also tell you and you can use as an economic indicator on the demand of that commodity, which obviously is going to impact stocks, the markets, and a variety of other uh, flow of trading and so on and so forth. So you have a variety of many, many different uh, types of assets in here. We've got crude oil, treasury notes, we've got um, maybe there's some gold in here. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff. So let me just show you the kind of data we're talking about. And as I said, we have open interest, open interest, long and short. These are really important because this tells you do traders feel very comfortable with that commodity if so they'll do longs so you'll be able to measure that on the open interest and be able to measure um, the demand on that uh, commodity and you'll be able to do some really neat analytics on forecasting for the week again we also have combined short so if Traders don't feel too confident about a particular commodity where they think on Tuesday when these reports come out every week that there's going to be a short, that commodity is going to take a tank. What really useful is things like uh, treasury and oil. If, let's say, they're starting to feel on Tuesday of that week that they're going to start seeing a bump in shorts, on treasury notes it's probably a pretty good indicator that the markets they they feel the markets will go up they're no longer going to use treasury notes as a defensive trade that means they're going to probably as this report will tell you they'll dump treasury notes and long into something else and they'll short the treasury notes and you can obviously say the same thing on any upcoming reports that'll impact oil now possibly another measurement of not just the economy in the u.s <clears throat> but an indicator of how manufacturing will be for Tuesday. So let's see what kind of other uh, commodities we have here. So with the power of these reports, um, I am going to do a report, a sort on the report date. So let's check out the kind of um, commodities we have here. We have gold. Again, you can use that as a measuring indicator on, on how you would feel about the economy. Shorts on gold sh says that they expect the markets to go up. Sugar, natural gas, cotton, these are your softs and your agriculture. Silver is your uh, typical uh, poor man's gold. Again, agriculture, and usually the agriculture don't have a very good return. Platinum, mm, copper is an interesting one because you can get some really good return on that. No different than oil. You can use that as an indicator on manufacturing because copper is used as a base metal in a lot of manufacturing processes. 
but you can see all the different types of commodities that you can measure week by week based upon the open interest and the shorting <coughs> and the logging. And it don't stop there. Okay, let's see some other types of reports. Now, this is another report that you can get. I'm going to do the same thing and do a, a sort on the date. Um, sort on let's see, uh, market. Where's my market? So you can see all the fields and data that you get. It's just, it's a lot. So you can do your short order. Uh, they've also included some swaps here. You can measure your spread. Um, traders commitment. I mean, it's just on and on and on and on. I could, an open interest is the real interesting one. You could, you could use this as a measurement within your week, week by week. I'm just trying to find the date. Yeah, I think that's my date right there. Okay, so what kind of <clears throat> um, uh, commodities do we have in here? So we have uh, pretty well the same idea, but here we have the mini euro. Um, I'd have to research what these are, but these are other t types of um, commodities that you can measure uh, transcontinental. So this will help you maybe measure uh, um, week by week, or sorry, by geographic region, um, see where things are bro broken down by um, region within the states to see what, what region is doing well manufacturing wise. <coughs> no different than what I talked about earlier. So there's a lot of packed information in these reports. Um, I have no idea why people wouldn't want to use them um, and not use these. I know the fundamental, but I focus on fundamental. I do eat my Bloomberg daily, and this is all they talk about, but not in such great detail. So I thought I'd put the, this, this video together to highlight this. Uh, I think you'd be a fool not to use it to your advantage, especially this open interest. Um, that's powerful information there. And again, this comes out, it looks like uh, every week. Yeah, every week, um, which I believe is uh, Tuesday. So just wanted, like I said, put this out there for you. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.